Oh, how soon we forget. Hey, this is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. Thanks for joining us as we are continuing our journey through the book of Matthew. Today we're going to be looking at Matthew 15, verses 29 through 39. This is where Jesus feeds the 4,000. And I know you're saying to yourself, wait a minute here, Todd. You just, you talked about Jesus feeding 5,000, uh, you know, several episodes ago, okay? And now you're talking about Jesus feeding the 4,000. Is this the same miracle? It was just a mistake? No, it's two different miracles. And the reason I'm entitling this How Soon We Forget is because the disciples had experienced Jesus feeding 5,000, 5,000 men, okay? And they, then it comes, you know, it, they were at the Sea of Galilee where this happened. Then, it, you remember the last episode, we talked about Jesus leaves and goes to Tyre and Sidon, which is, I think it's, if, if I remember right, about 80 miles away into Gentile territory. So they go back, they go to Gentile territory. Then he, he does his one miracle there, and he like, okay, time to go back to the Sea of Galilee. So they come back to the Sea of Galilee. I don't know where they were around that Sea of Galilee. Remember, the Sea of Galilee is roughly like 12 miles length and about seven miles at the furthest point across. Okay, so I don't know where they were on that Sea of Galilee, but they were at the Sea of Galilee, and Jesus fed the 5,000 already at that Sea of Galilee. Okay? And remember, that's 5,000 men. And so, and we estimated back at that episode that that would probably be about 20,000 people, okay? If you estimate that you have 5,000 men, each man probably had a wife and probably two children on a low estimate, okay? And we talked about at that time, there's no place in Sarasota here where you could have that many people inside, okay? I don't even know of an outside venue where you can have that many people sitting there. So anyway, Roughly 20,000 people. How can you forget that? Okay, but the disciples do. All right, so let's let's read Matthew 15, 29 through 39 here. All right. It says this, Jesus left there and went along the Sea of Galilee. Then he went up on the mountainside and sat down. Very similar to feeding the 5,000, okay? Great crowds came to him, bringing the lame, the blind, the crippled, the mute, and many others and laid them at his feet, and he healed them. The people were amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the crippled made well, the lame walking, and the blind seeing. And they praised the God of Israel. Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for these people. Let me stop you right there. Remember when we talked about Jesus feeding the 5,000? The first thing he did is he had compassion for those people. Same thing here. He has compassion for these people. So that's the first thing in each of these things. He has compassion for these people. They have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry or they may collapse on the way. Verse 33, his disciples answered, where could we get enough bread in this remote place to feed such a crowd? How many loaves do you have? Jesus asked. Seven, they replied, and a few small fish. Okay, so the numbers are different here in this passage than, than before because it's been a different event. Okay, so they only have seven, uh, seven loaves of bread and a few small fish. Verse 35, he told the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, and when he had given thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples, and they in turn to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. Okay, just like when he fed the 5,000, the people ate and they were satisfied. It wasn't a little snack, they were satisfied. And here in the same way, they were satisfied. They had had plenty to eat, they were all satisfied. Afterward, the disciples picked up seven basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. In the first miracle of feeding the 5,000, there were 12 baskets left over, and here it's seven baskets. Verse 38, the number of those who ate was 4,000 men, besides women and children. Okay, let me stop there. Again, we're going to estimate if it's 4,000 men, you would probably have one wife per man. Uh, this is a conservative estimate. Um, so there, now you're at 8,000, okay? And then you probably have an average, this is a low estimate, of two children uh, per man. 
Okay, and per man and wife. So then we're at uh, 16,000. So you have 16,000 uh, people there that Jesus fed. Okay? Um, and again, you're not going to find a venue in Sarasota where you can put 16,000 people. All right. Uh, closest thing you're going to find is like going up to St. Pete to the Tropicana Field. So 16,000 people he, he fed. That's a conservative um, estimate there. All right. And oh, I lost my place here. Oh, here it is. After Jesus had sent the crowd away, he got in. Oh, I'm sorry. The number of the men uh, that ate was uh, 4,000 besides women and children. After Jesus had sent the crowd away, he got into the boat and went to the vicinity of Magdon. Okay. So anyway, what I wanted you to see from this is how soon we forget. You would think the disciples would remember that Jesus fed 5,000 men. And, um, and then how could you forget that? But they forgot it because um, later on when the same issue comes, they don't go, well, Jesus, you fed 5,000 men earlier, uh, let's just feed them all again, just like you did before. They, they never say that. They're like, oh no, what are we going to do? You know, let, let's send them away. So they forget about that. And the thing is, when we have a miracle in our lives, it seems like we forget that too. You know, God has done something for me like a year or two ago, and I don't remember it. I'm like, God never does anything for me. And I forget about it, okay? What I want to encourage you to do, and what I've done, is I have a little uh, notebook, and anytime a miracle happens in my life, I write it down, okay? And so I can look back then and and see the the things that God has done for me, and I'm I, I'm my head is not uh, I don't remember everything anymore, and so if I have that written down in the notebook, I can look back at the notebook and say, man, look at this, on July fifteenth. 2000 God did this for me and in August uh, 7th of 2015 God did this for me and how he provided and so I can look back at that and and, and it's written down I write that down so I, I would encourage you to do the same thing that way you're not always thinking oh God never does anything for me you know we, we forget those things but write it down okay so anyway the thing is we forget and uh, just like the disciples did, they forgot that major miracle. And uh, Jesus did a similar miracle. Thank you for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through the book of Matthew. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.